Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will look at the fetch clause. Now, the fetch clause is a SQL standard. It's used to retrieve the number of rows from your database table. Hope you enjoy this video. Several months ago, I completed a form on the University of Minnesota, and I told them I was a YouTube channel, Software Nuggets, and I wanted to experiment with the Movie Lens data set. I was approved. Now, on paragraph two, you can see I have to cite this paper by F. Maxwell Harper and Joseph A. Constant, 2015, the Movie Lens Dataset, History and Context. Please press pause now to read this reply if you are interested. Let's start discovering data. Notice I've loaded all those movies from that database I just showed you, and it has four columns. We can say select star from movies, and let's see what happens there. I'm going to highlight that and execute it and know that returns 21,906 rows of data. So PostgreSQL has several ways for us just to limit the amount of data return. Now the first clause I'm going to show you is called limit and we can say like limit 10. Now I need to tell you that the clause limit which is used most often is not the SQL standard. The SQL standard is actually the next clause I'm going to be teaching you, but let's execute this one. So this right here says limit 10. And notice that we got back 10 rows. And we can put any number over here. I can put 100, then highlight that, and then of course we get a 100 rows. So that is the limit. Now let's move on to the fetch. Notice using the fetch for the first time, I say fetch first and then the number of rows only. And then let's execute this. And notice we will get back the same 10 rows as when we said limit 10. Now you can use the word first or you can use the word next and it will retrieve the same data. Notice the first word, uh, movie, Toy Story and we get Toy Story again. So it doesn't matter if you use first or next and then some number, you'll always get that. Now by default, if you don't give me a number here, then you're gonna get back one row. So the default is just one row. Notice here I'm saying select star from movies, fetch first one row. Notice no S at the end. Now you know I can execute it this way. This is one way of doing that. I can actually come over here and call that rows and execute that. And I can also remove the number. All of those are just defaults. In this next command, notice we're saying select star from movies, offset five rows, fetch first one row only. Now this is important that it's saying offset five rows. So notice it's gonna come down here and it's gonna begin on like the next line. So when we say fetch first, it should get us heat. Let's try that. And notice that we were able to get heat. Of course, we can come down here and get 10 rows from that position. And I can change the offset to anything I wanted. Remember there was uh, 19,000, so I can say 5,552, and I want the next 10 rows. You have to admit that's pretty quick, 82 milliseconds. Just as we use order by when we're in a limit, notice the limit is the last expression in the SQL statement. So when we say select star from movies, order by movie name, notice that we got our 10 rows and it did an order by movie name. So the question now is where would you insert the order by in this clause? Would that just go between the fetch or the offset? Where would you put that? That's right, you would put that after the from clause and anywhere statements. And we would say order by movie. I'm gonna offset it to this position. I'm gonna change it and then I'm gonna take 100 rows. Let's do that. And there we got back 100 rows and it began at the position 555. And that there team is the fetch first, next, some count, rows or rows, and then only. Now you also understand offset. Offset is where the row you want it to begin at. So this starts working on the next row. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy that video, 
please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have questions or comments. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, team. I'll see you back in my next video.